Hey guys, Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine, TV Insider. I'm here with Harry Shum Jr. We're joining Grey's Anatomy in like season 19, which, you know, it's, it's quite a hit show. Yesterday's tornado came out of nowhere and blew a bus off a cliff. The bus flipped over and landed after a 20 foot drop. And because many of the passengers were not wearing seatbelts, we have an inordinate number of patients who may have experienced catastrophic brain injury. How do we declare brain death? Dr. Kwan. Numerous criteria must be met before determination of brain death, including at least two clinical exams and a confirmatory test such as a brain scan. Correct. I've been watching the show pretty much since day one. I don't know how much you've watched, Harry, but it, what was it like going on set the first day? Because it's such an iconic set, the Grace yeah. Sloan Hospital. Yeah, you know when you like when when you watch something on TV for so long, and and you know it becomes like in the television, and then when you <laughs> when you when you step onto the set. You, you start to, to see things that um, you're like, oh, is that real or is that fake? And, you know, there's just, it feels very real. I mean, you, you feel like you're stepping into a real hospital and, you know, there's so many like nurses and other doctors walking around. It, it, it really, it, it really um, doesn't differentiate between the reality and, and kind of like uh, the, the gray's world uh, of it all. So it was really nice to step in there and, and, and it really helps in the sense of like, you know, you don't have to do as much to try and like pretend that you're in a hospital because it really feels like you're in one. So how do you how do you like the look when you put on the white coat and look in the mirror? What, what do you right, think? it's like a cape, man. It's like a little superhero. Everyone's a, you know everyone's a superhero in, in in this. You know they're they're saving lives, but they're also dealing with a lot of inner whether it be inner turmoil <laughs> or inner right. drama that's kind of happening within their lives and in each other's relationships. But, you know, I think the, the, the great thing about this season is like, it's bringing a lot of the, I guess the fun back um, into the interactions between different characters and, and you know, the, the new interns, they've, they've just been wonderful. I mean, I think we really, they really chose some really great, great, um, uh, great actors and, and personalities and people to kind of join this, this new, new season. And how would you describe your character, Blue, I think is his nickname, Quan? Yeah, his name is uh, Benson, Benson Blue Quan. He's, he's, he's striving to, to become, trying to become uh, someone that his, his mom uh, always wanted him to be. You know, he's always been number one. His, his nickname is Blue. He's always won blue ribbons and trophies <laughs> and being first place. And, you know, uh, um, and I think they'll dive deeper into the, the story of, of you know, a, tra a tragic incident happened and kind of just everything fell apart for him. So now he's trying to climb his way back up and prove himself. Um, and, and, you know, and I think that along with the other characters having their different reasons for being back and kind of having a lot of setbacks, uh, we're going to start to realize like, you know, where these characters, um, their struggles are and where they're coming from. Is he purely work focused or are there some other distractions, this being Grey's Anatomy? Oh, yeah. Distractions. There's always distractions at Grey Sloan. <laughs> uh, that's what I've, I've learned. Um, you know, I think when, when you're hyper focused on just being number one, it's never that easy. And, and you know, you're going to have a lot of personal things happen, but also some, some distractions that, you know, in the Grey's world that uh, um, will leave a lot of shipping to happen, um, possibilities that the fans can have fun with and seeing um, which ones they like and don't like. Um, so in the press release, I saw Blue, uh, Benson Blue is described as sharp-witted, competitive, brilliant. Which of those applies to Harry Shum Jr.? <laughs> None. <laughs> None. <laughs> That's why this is so hard to play. Now, um, I, you know, I don't know. It's a, it, it, uh, you know, I think with, with this character, it's, you know, especially with the, all the stuff that we're after learning, the, you know, the, the uh, terminology, medical terminology and, and, and the proper way they have a great team that's kind of really guiding us through. But, you know, with like Ellen and, and um, uh, even Kevin McKidd, people who have been around for so long, they it just the, the incredible knowledge that they have that accumulated over time. You know, that's what I'm really excited about of, of just, you know, learning these tidbits here and there. And it starts to really just you start to absorb it. And I'm just scared. I don't want to go on a plane and, and, and someone say, is there a doctor on the plane? And I'd be like, don't look at me. <laughs> I can just say, I'm just an intern. Okay. So you can't, you can't really, uh, can't have to tell people. <laughs> All right, you guys be sure to watch Grey's Anatomy. It premieres October 6th on ABC.